The fitting base or mounting base is made up of two small bases and four pivots of one, two, three and four centimeter length. To assemble it just take one base and screw it on a pivot. Take the other base and screw it on the other end of the pivot. And here it is your mounting base. Then there is one meter of adhesive rubber resistant to high temperature. Just take one piece of rubber, you can eventually reuse it several times, and put it on one base. Of course you have to put some other rubber on the other base where you will, are going to stick the logger. Now we are going to place an S-micro logger inside a jar, in this example a jar filled with a solid or semi-solid product, so the tip of the probe, which uh, has the sensing point, must stay at the center of the jar. We must use the proper pivot, in this case the 1 cm pivot. We place the logger on one base, be sure to press it tight, and the other base we press it on the cap. Of course you can use the base inside the jar, but on the cap it is much more easy. And here it is, the tip of the probe is at the center of the jar. Of course you can use the rubber without the base directly on the logger and in this case we can mount it on the vertical wall of the jar itself. We place some adhesive rubber on the base of the logger and we press it tight on the vertical wall of the jar. You can eventually adjust its position to place the tip of the probe at the center. To leave the data logger outside and uh, inserting only the probe in the container, we need to prepare it. We'll keep using a jar as an example, drilling in a hole in the cap. Remove the cap, place it under a drill and then drill the hole. It must be at the center to reach the core of the product. If we have an open container where we can act both on the inside and the outside like the cap of a jar, we can use a threaded probe and a counter bolt to fix the logger to the surface. We put an o-ring on the threaded part of the probe. We take the cap and of course we put the probe in the hole and then we screw the counter bolt to fix it to the cap. Of course, this solution implies that the length of the probe is exact and correct to reach the cold spot inside the container.
We can still use a similar solution even if the probe hasn't the threaded part with the locking nut. We place the locking nut in the hole and then fix it with a counter bolt. We unscrew to the top hole bolt and remove the teflon olive. We put the hole bolt on the probe and then the stopping teflon olive and then put the whole probe inside the locking nut. The locking nut comes already equipped with an O-ring and the counter bolt. We, we screw the whole bolt and in this way, thanks to the stopping teflon olive, we can adjust the depth of the probe inside each container. In this way, with a single probe length, we can cover multiple containers of different height. But what if we have a closed container and we cannot put a counter bolt inside? We can use the fastening system. The fastening system comes with a riveting tool, threaded pivots of different diameters, and two packs of 20 pieces each of threaded rivets of different diameters, one for the threaded probes of 5 mm and one for the locking bar of 8 mm. The rivets come with O-rings and the system is completed with one locking nut. First of all, prepare the rivets with their proper o-ring. Then, take the correct threaded pivot. You see, there are different diameters for the different rivets. Take the one you want to use now and insert it in the top part of the riveting tool. Then fix it to the riveting tool, screwing the top screw. Now release the front screw to open the riveting tool. Block the pivot inside the tool using proper adapter. You can recognize it by the proper diameter. When you screw the adapter, remember to leave 4-5 mm of the pivot outside so to be able to fix the rivet on the surface. Screw the rivet on the pivot. And that's it. We'll see now how to fix a rivet on a cap. Take the uh, proper rivet diameter for 
the thread diameter you want to use. The pivot is already in place. Take proper adapter of correct diameter and fix the pivot on the tool. Then take the rivet with already the O-ring on and screw it on the pivot. Insert the rivet in the hole, make all necessary adjustment and then put the cap on the rivet and close the tool. In this way the rivet will be fixed to the surface unscrew it from the pivot and there you have your cap with the rivet. Now you just have to screw the threaded probe on the rivet. Of course, the fastening system is mostly useful with the closed containers like two cans. Here are, there are two already prepared cans with a small rivet for the sterile disc can and here we screw it in the can with a long probe to reach the code spot which is placed at the base of the can. And here one with a big or a rivet for the locking nut. We remove the counter bolt that we are not going to use now. We screw the locking nut in the rivet. We remove the top holed bolt with the Teflon olive and as already described we put the holed bolt on the probe, in this case of this S micro the Teflon olive to stop the run of the probe inside the locking nut and in this way we can adjust the depth of the probe inside the can just by screwing and unscrewing the top holed bolt.